Good morning, everybody. Um, if you guys can let me know before I get started if the audio is all good and if the um, if everything you're seeing is all good as well, then we can get started on this month's art box. So who have we got? Hey, Tracy, Diane, Otista, Sandy. Cross, Luella, welcome guys. Hey Jamie. Audio is echoing, echo, okay. Okay, okay let me know, know if the audio is any better, better now. now. I just I sort just of sort refreshed, refreshed everything. everything. Let's see so how that works. works. Okay, let me know how it goes now. I think I found the issue. So it should sound better now. Warren, nice to see you on here. Hey Brenda, first timer, welcome. I hope the audio is all good. Is it all good? <laughs> it's so sweet how you all greet each other. It seems to be quite a big delay. I should be getting some answers from you guys now. I think with any live stream, if you're going to watch my live streams, like the first 10 or 15 minutes, you can miss out on because nothing really happens there. It's always sort of setting up and <laughs> trying to fix things. Um, okay, you guys should see the chat come up on the screen. So that's something I was fiddling around with today. Uh, hopefully that doesn't... Cool. Sounds good. Yes, thank you very, very much. That's good. Okay, so I am going to get started. Um, so this is the February Smart Art Box, which I, I was hoping to get it um, earlier this week. And I had to reschedule it twice because with international shipping, even though they shipped it on the 3rd of February, I only got it on the 16th. Today's the 16th. Yes, I only got it yesterday my yesterday um and yeah so i had to make the video today of course so we'll do that so lesson learned i guess um i'll do the smart art box videos on the third week of every month instead of the second week and then i can make sure that um i sort of know that i will have it so i did open this one to make sure that it had supplies in that i could demonstrate live um sometimes smart art box has things that um, take a couple of days like the marbling one or something like that so 
Um, this one I can definitely demonstrate live and it's it's gonna be fun like it's it's also something I haven't tried before so I'm excited to give it a go and um, for those that want to know about the smart art box it's a I think it's a $50 subscription box and then you get full sets of art supplies in every month's box but you don't know what you get until you get the box so it makes it a little bit fun and exciting and um, I have the link to that in the description below. Now, I have a little bit of a rule for those of you that are new. Anything that I get for free, I also give away to you guys for free. So the way it works is if you read the description, it will tell you um, to use the super chat. So if you want to win this box along with the artwork that I create with this box, then make sure you follow the instructions in the super chat. So the idea behind that is so that you guys can help me cover postage. So the last box cost me 35 um, Australian dollars to post. So as long as I get that covered, I'm happy. I'm not interested in making a, a lot more than that. So please, if you're going to enter the smart art box, feel free to just super chat a dollar. That is fine. Don't worry about doing too much. Um, as long as at the end of the stream I achieve enough to cover postage, I'm more than happy with that, or majority to cover postage, then I'm good to go, because I don't want to be out of pocket when I'm giving the giveaways away. So I'm sure you guys can understand that. So, um, yes, yeah, so at the end of today's stream, I will be giving this box away along with the artwork, and then just follow the super chat. Anytime during today's live stream, you can do that. Um, Maureen, my gorgeous, lovely moderator, will keep track of everybody who is entering, and um, she will help me out by the time that we have to do the um, the giveaway. Okay, so I look a bit different today. I decided just on a whim this morning I wanted to cut my fringe, so I did, and I quite like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Sometimes I have those sudden urges for um, change, like. I wouldn't call it a drastic change. I used to I used to cut my fringe all the time. So, um, yeah. So <laughs> that's my morning. Um, okay, so let's open the box. So we can immediately see that we have some chameleon supplies, and the box is in the way there. And this artwork or the artist that's featured in this month's box is Hobie. Sanit's AVM. I think you pronounce that Hobie, so H O B I H O B I Hobie. And inside here they give you a little bit of a, a story of the um, featured artists and what the artist likes about the supplies. And then you've got project pointers and then you've got the tools. Um, so we'll go through the tools in a minute, so let's see what they are. So we have some chameleon colored tops, which I like, I watched a small clip on YouTube about it, but I guess we'll figure it out together. So apparently you can blend the marker colors together using this and then this is um, a color tones one so it's like a a colorless blender in a sense so you can put this on top of a marker color to make it lighter and then you can create different tones using um using it but I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that i think i think i sort of have the idea and then we have some Art Alternatives Fine Liner Pens, a set of 12 0.4 millimeter pens. Um, they are water-based, vibrant colors, and they have a triangular barrel for comfort grip. No, they don't. It's round. Oh, no. No, it is triangular. It looks round. It is triangular. I'm sorry. And then um, Strathmore Marker Paper, a whole pad of it. 24 sheets so it feels I've never used marker paper before it feels quite nice it feels it's very smooth which I guess is what the whole point is okay so let's put the big box away So this is what we've got. 
those are the supplies. So let's open these up. So they're like short, fat, stubby pens. I don't want to tear this because when I give it to you, I want it to be just like it came. Don't tear. There we go. Oh no, can I do this without tearing it? How do you open this thing? Yep, yep. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. So I'll put it back together as <laughs> as a come. Radio. So these, they look so cool. This is a colored top. So you apply this to the top. Okay. So this is a blue color top and you actually apply the blue to this one which is vermilion. It's blank one. Let's open this one. Oh yes, thanks Maureen. So if you have any questions, please use capital letters so that I can see it quite easily. Because um, I know a lot of you chat among yourselves, so I don't always get to read everything in the chat. Majin, thank you! <laughs> a dollar for me and two more. <laughs> Cool. So Majin is the first one to enter. I appreciate that. Roseanne says, love the bangs. Thank you. Oh, it's such a weird thing to call a fringe. Like I'm used to calling it a fringe, but in the US you guys call it bangs, <laughs> which is weird. Um, okay, so this, okay, so this is a nice red color, vermilion. And then on this end, you have another marker. So you've got a, a fairly thick one like this. And then a thinner one over here. No, over here, like that. And then a a blank, um, what do you call it? Color top. So this is if you want to blend it lighter, which I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm not very good at describing things or putting words to anything. <laughs> so I'll just have to show you what I mean. Um, something, I want to see if I can get the light on my camera up quick. Probably see my menu come up on the screen. Um, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay, one of these is a light. That's what I want. There we go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Just some adjusting. Okay, and then these. I have a light just above my head here, which I don't want to get. I'm sorted. Okay, so these are, they do have a triangular barrel 
and they are very very fine look at that very fine okay. cool so I'm thinking what we will do today something easy is maybe like draw a mandala um, so instead of something too detailed that will end up taking the whole day to stream Marie cool thank you Marie Maureen if you could add Marie thank you Tracy Let's just open this straight up like this and then I think the first thing I want to do is I'll use a black the black um, art alternatives fine line pen and draw out my design Sandy, Luella, wonderful. Uh, okay, okay. So I'm going to draw a design. Let's zoom in. Let's do this way so it's easier. Super chats and the subscriber things making um, a little noise. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, subscribe just so you can hear the noise on the video. <laughs> okay, so using the art alternatives. Oh, I didn't really read much about it, but I feel like I, I get the gist of it. I sort of just have to try it. And I find that you actually learn more if you just try it before you actually read instructions. And then if you make mistakes, you learn even better. Okay, so the Chameleon Color Tone Vermilion. Um, innovative alcohol-based markers that give you the ability to change the color tone of your pen. Each pen produces multiple color tones, giving you the ability to create stunning effects such as 3D, smooth transitions, highlighting, shading, gradations, and blending, all with one pen. All Chameleon Color Tone markers are refillable and all nibs are replaceable. That's cool. Just use the chameleon tweezers to easily remove nibs and refill pens. So, I think when you buy a whole set of these pens, it can be, it's pretty expensive. I think uh, it's 175 pounds for 20 pens. So I don't know what that is in Australian dollars, but I know pounds are way stronger, so it'd be pretty expensive. Um, so you're definitely getting your money's worth when you get this box, if you get this box. And you can, you can get individual boxes if you like them. Um, you don't have to subscribe every month. You can get a box if you just want the one box, um, which I think is pretty cool. And then the Art Alternatives Fine Liner Pens, a set of fine point 0.4 millimeter pens, feature a triangular comfort grip barrel and water-based ink in a vibrant array of colors, perfect for drawing, illustrating, and coloring on paper, board, or canvas. Or canvas that's pretty cool and then the color tones they cool tone so we saw that we've got blue purple and like a greenish tone so cool tone pens um, color tops feature a whole new way to blend color pop a chameleon color top on top of a chameleon pen rather than blending two colors on the page blend the colors at the source the nib instead for beautiful smooth and seamless color to color blends 
One color flows into another. Even opposite colors like orange and green can be blended together without a seam. Ah, oh, we, we are going to try that a lot and see see how good it gets and see if they if it's possible to get it to look all muddy and messy or if it will continue to keep a good sort of gradation between everything thank you chris okay um before i do this okay i need to record on here it'll be good if esme can get on here and then she can help me <laughs> Beautiful. Great. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a basic sort of mandala design. using the Black Art Alternative Fineliner Pen. So this is also the first time I'm using this paper, so it's going to be good. Mm, I think I sort of want to make them eventually cross into each other. That's not very easy to do that, especially if your hand is at an angle that you don't wouldn't usually do that. Thank you. Yes, that'd be great, Jamie. Chris was asking, what am I up to this weekend? So today, obviously, I'm already in my weekend. Today's Saturday for me, and I'm doing this. And then I'm going to finish off the touch-up pieces for the collaboration that I did with Ellen Brenneman yesterday. And then tomorrow, I was going to do um, the pan pastel one, but I haven't received the pan pastel kit to do that one. So tomorrow, I'm not sure. Um, I have to finish off the color pencil magazine challenge of the chocolates. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> um, okay. So. I'm going to keep the design quite wide or the lines quite thick so that we can easily get in there with various colors. Mm. We'll see how well the pen sort of works over the top of the fine liners hopefully it doesn't sort of bleed into one another but i imagine it wouldn't if they are coming together
these are like the easiest things to draw because you can just sort of establish a curve somewhere and then follow it with whatever pattern sort of comes to mind at the time. That's if you can come up with a pattern. I wonder if this is going through. No, it's not. That's good. Okay, let's start working on some of this side. It will start looking much better once we start adding some colors. Um. Uh, Pamela is just asking for a quick rundown of what we're doing. So for those that are only tuning in now, um, this is the February Smart Art Box. The so Smart Art Box is a subscription box where you get art supplies every month, um, except you don't know what you're getting until you get it. Um, so I do a demonstration of this every single month. And because I get the box for free, um, I also give it away for free at the end of the um, demonstration. So. If you guys want to know how to be a part of that to win this box for free, all I ask is that you guys help me out with postage. So just check the description in, um, check the information in the description, and it'll tell you how you guys can enter. So you can do that anytime during the stream, and Maureen will keep track of that for me. And then at the end of the stream, I'll pick a name, and you guys get the artwork and the supplies in the box um, as well. I think I want to add maybe a B. 
be or something. <laughs> Something really simple. <laughs> Should probably stop working on that side now. I probably sh should have tried to do this in a couple of different colors. But that's okay. You could totally do this with your kids. <laughs> uh, camera check, thank you so much. Maybe we can make it look like it is a hill. And some clouds.
We'll say this one's for the kids. <laughs> and some little trees. And some flowers. Flowers are almost as big as the trees. Okay, okay. Now I really, really want to try. So I think what I'll, I'll use the fine liner pens later and create like little dots everywhere, and maybe little patterns. But for now, I just want to color all of this in. So I really want to try this. So... <laughs> the reds with these colors, that's going to be interesting. Let, let's just have a play with... Oh no, you have to do it. You have to mix all these colors with the red. So because these are color tops, these are all, the only color you can attach this to is the red. So we have to try this with the red. Okay. So, I'll show you a blank color first. So this one is just, um, if you have a close look in there, it, you can see that it's got no color. And what you're supposed to do is you attach this to it and the, the, the blank color will go into it, into the red. But, and you have to leave it for about 15 to 20 seconds and you have to hold it upright. So I'll show you. Yeah, I'll just use this one to show you quickly what it's like with the color on its own. So this color on its own is like that. And then, did we leave it long enough? Let's try. So because we added that light color on there, it should gradually start getting darker as you go along. So the longer you leave it on, the lighter it gets. And then the more you color with it, the darker it will start gradually getting. So that's pretty cool. I want to see if I can sort of smooth that line out. Yep. Okay, so that's sort of the idea. Thank you, Maureen, Angel, Jamie. Thank you very much. Oh, so don't put it back there. Um, okay, so that's, that's the idea with the top pieces. But now the only, because I, this is the only pen I have to attach it to, I need to try it with other colors. So let's try it with some of these sky blue, BL3. And if you look in there, you'll see that the blue is going to start gradually um, going into the red. But you have to keep it upright so it doesn't go the other way. You don't want it to go into the blue. So that's very, very interesting. I should probably try it. I might try it with... Okay, let's see what happens there. See how that, that's blue. That's completely blue. I wonder how long it will take before it starts turning red.
pretty good. So you can almost turn this red in completely to blue. And then, yeah, just swap the color around. So let's try the other end, the flimsier end. Maybe purple. To leave it for a couple of seconds. It's very long. <laughs> it is pretty cool. It's pretty strange. I probably, I would probably like a bunch of these and then just use those colors but I guess the intent behind this is that you actually mix the colors like this right oh I feel like I filled that completely with a purple so let's oh, that's completely purple okay I want to go The longer you leave it, the more, the longer it will stay purple, or whatever filler, or not filler. It's not a filler. It's a color top. Whatever color top you place on the top. Hmm. So that looks like the red is starting to come out. So interesting. Let's let's pick another spot. See how the red comes out. See how it's starting to change color. I'm not very good at staying in the lines, am I? Cool. That's so interesting. Okay, so I think I would like to do the... I need to remember to put these on. Do the sky blue again and just do the sky. Warren says the chameleons are great. I have a set of 22 and I do not use markers much. In the US, the 22 set runs for $99. <laughs> That's expensive. That's so expensive. Roseanne, you are totally right. Roseanne says I should do a swatch test. Yes, I should. I don't know why I didn't do that before. See? This is overconfidence. I just jumped straight into it. <laughs> oh, okay. So I sort of, I want to add the blue in the sky. I want to add it. So it's very blue at the top. And then as it gets towards the sun, then it can start getting the red <laughs> it's already getting the red let's add some more blue so there is inside you can't see it in this one you'll probably be able to see it in the blue one Mm, 
No. Where is it then? There's supposed to be a tiny little hole where you can refill it. But I can't see one. Maybe you refill it after you've removed the nib. Maybe. So here the red is starting. Let's let's just let it happen. Let's just let it happen. This is a very soft brush tip. It creates very streaky lines. Is that just me not knowing how to use markers properly? Or should it be able to blend smoothly? So now it's blending smoothly that it's its own color. It's not a mixture of colors. Okay, since that's the color that I'm using, I'm gonna switch to the little one on the back end. Oh, it's still blue. <laughs> let's let's do this. It takes a decent while. So this, this smaller, harder nib seems to be, create more lines than the softer one does. So maybe I create circular motions. To avoid the streakiness, I don't know. I wonder if I apply the colorless one over the top, if I can get it to blend smooth. So, like, I want to blend those lines that I can see they smooth. So, let's test the colorless one this one with the red one and we'll leave it for bits so there's enough on there and see if we can blend that smooth I think it's fair to say this is what you'd call a doodle I never doodle anything so I'm quite happy. It looks very, I think kids would love it. <laughs> Maybe not so much adults, but the kids would love it. <laughs> Angel Stewart is asking what mixes the color, multicolor in the pens. It's just, I guess because you're putting the two colors directly on top of each other like that. So there you can see. So you've got the red pen over here at the bottom. And then you've got the whatever color at the top. So you, and because it's at the top and gravity is making it move down, it's pretty much just adding the color to the nib. And then as you start pushing the pen back the other way, gravity moves the color from inside the marker back out. And then it gradually turns into just that color. So I'm guessing that is the case. So let's see if I can blend this smooth. Because now I've got the colorless one and I want to get these streaks to go away. I'm 
maybe a little? I can't tell. Let's still see the streaks. Okay, the color's coming back now. Ah, no. Get some more. I like that that's a bit smoother I'd say a little bit okay so my trees are not gonna be green <laughs> they're gonna be oh no we've got this color here aquamarine it's the closest we're gonna get to green so um, angel if you look at this so this is the marker and then this has a green little nib in it and then you remove this and then you apply the marker to the green and you hold it upright. So it's just gonna push the green ink in here onto the nib over here. It's pretty much what's happening. And the longer you hold it, the more green it will be. And then gradually, as you use the red marker, it's gonna feed the ink from the inside of the red marker back out and then it will be red again. Camera check, all good. Thank you very much, Jamie. Go hang the washing. I need to do washing as well. I really need to do washing. Artista is saying, when laying down color, you need to semi-overlap your line so it will have a smoother blend. Yes, it seems like it. So let's see how smooth I can get the trees blended. So this is very green. Now, I wonder if I can add more. Like, I want to make that green lighter. So let's put the colorless one on here. See if I can make that green even lighter. put way too much lemon in that <laughs> okay let's see if that helped with the green I may have left that on a bit long let, let's have a look here. Let's see how long that green that we added to it will last before it starts becoming red. Oh, that's so cool! Look at that! Oh, my pretty tree. Cool, I like it. Let's, let's add some texture to the tree. But yes, you could get it smooth. Definitely. You do have to overlap. overlap. So it's, it stays green for a pretty long time. Look at that. So, do I add green first and then the colorless one? Actually, let's, let's see. Let's see when this is going to start turning red. Oh, 
Not yet, not yet. Starting to have a bit of a different color there. It's turning into a much deeper green, like a dark green. Okay, so let's add the colorless one on top. Like I know I've lost a lot of the green. But this green's pretty cool as well, so maybe we can just make that a lighter version and go lighter this way. Yes, Warren. So the best bet would be is to go to Chameleon's website and see exactly how they use their products. I'm using this for the first time, so I don't have much experience with it, so I can't give you a lot of information. The only information I can give you is what I'm trying right now for the first time. <laughs> so if you want detailed information and you want to know exactly how they work, um, then go check out Chameleon's website. So Warren says that they have a lot of information there, so have a look. Have a look. I think that's long enough. Too long. So that's completely. Okay, it's starting to get color. It's quite brownish. Okay, I think this will be a good color for the bark. Should have since there's cool tones in here. I should have tried to think of an image with cool tones, maybe ice or a little polar bear or something. There's, but there's quite a few warm tones in here. Look at that. That's so cool. What else would do? Uh, this one. Ah, oh, Sheldine, you're so messy. That's what happens when you use a thick nib on a s small space. What else can use this color? I feel like my nib's getting very worn out already. Can you see that? It's pretty worn. Wonder how many times you can use it before it really wears out. Um Okay, what other colors? Oh, there's a darker blue. Why don't I think of this one? Let's put this blue behind the trees. Hold it upwards.
Thanks, guys. I think you guys have covered the postage already. I don't know. I'd need to add it up. But I think you guys are pretty close. So thank you. Okay. I think that's pretty blue. Yes. But now I want to add the colorless one. I need to put these back. can sort of see how far it goes down. Okay. I should have used the other side. It's hard going in between the trees now. Hopefully the blue lasts a bit before it starts turning red. So I want the blue to last for just these bits in between the trees. <laughs> is very very worn out but like I don't know with brush brush marker pens maybe you guys can tell me for those that have more experience with marker pens um, with a brush tip marker pens are they supposed to become so soft that the whole nib is like a brush is that the whole point of a brush tip marker Look at the color change already. So now it's turning into brown like color again. I think I'm gonna add more blue. Good night, Chris Cross. Thank you for joining us. Let's go from the side first. Okay. I'm thinking I should have drawn a flower or something instead. Because even though I thought I drew these pretty thick lines, they're still pretty thin for this. But then again, I am using the bigger brush, the bigger 
side. to use just the blank one and see if I can smooth that all out. Okay, so the, the real annoying part of this is waiting for this to sort of load up. It's pretty cool that you could use all these colors on top of just this one marker pen. Even though it's red, it doesn't matter because these colors will still come out just as colorful. But I think instead of a red, it would have been better if they just gave you gave a blank one gave a blank one instead. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a bit annoying having to wait between one. It would be far more fun to have I think have all of these colours. So I think I would have preferred to have a six a, a set of six of these colours instead of wait, how many are in here? Five. A set of five of these colours with one of these mixing tops instead of one pen like this and five mixing tops. It would have been better if it was the other way around, I think. Okay, so let's see if I can blend that smoother with some of these areas. Sort of. I'm just making it darker now. Yeah, more. And the nibs are getting so worn out. They, I, I, if it gets any flimsier than that, you'd have to, you'd only be able to use it for really big areas. So I think I'll start using the smaller end from now on to finish the drawing off. It's going to be very dark. What's next? Now I'm going to use the other end, give this end a break. And who's missing one? Let's use this purple on the smaller end. Yeah, this just takes too long. I think I could have had this done by now if I didn't have to wait to do these color exchanges. It is an interesting concept. And if you have the patience, you can make these few colors go pretty far. But this one of the reasons I don't paint, I think, is because of the mixing of colors. I love pencils because you just have all the colors that you need. And you can do the same with markers. You can just get all the colors that you need. But... If you're doing it like this, it's it's still the process of waiting for colors to mix, which is a bit a bit annoying. So I'm not too too fond of it, I don't think. But then I feel like I'm a little biased because I love pencils so much. It's hard for me to really get a grasp of something new. Although I can't say that there have been times where I've tried supplies for the first time, like the Faber Castell pit pen markers. I fell in love with those. They were great. Actually, it'd be interesting to try these on Yupo paper. It's far more glossy because it's plastic. I might have to try. Okay, so purple. Mm, I want it lighter. Okay.
Okay, this is annoying. This is this is no good watching this live either. Hey, why does it look so dull? I am no good at blending its markers. This was colored pencils, I just bring in my solvent, make it nice and smooth, and happy days, it's done. <laughs> Not quite to this. No. I don't think you can make it lighter either. So nothing happens when you just apply the translucent one. The blank one it's not like and imagine if you're using something like duper paper because it's plastic you might be able to lift it off um okay these mountains we want to do the mountains So we'll use the green. Artista says transfer color for shorter time for smaller areas. Okay. Right, let's see how we go here. Uh, I didn't make it lighter. Okay. You know what? I think that was a good test. Oh, look, that goes through. It goes through. So it, it, I understand how it bleeds through the back of the page, but it actually bleeds through to another page. So let's use a purple and we're just going to do one big flower. And then we can experiment with the gradients. Let's just do that for now. So we'll use the green and the blank one for the center. Oh, other way. What if if you shake it, <laughs> but it'll go quicker? Hey, Christy. Okay, 
So let's start from the center being the lightest and then moving outwards. And I probably should have used the brush pen for this one. That's fine, I don't mind that pattern actually. purple so let's let's go ahead and add a purple um, I want to use the other end ah I'm confused this goes in there other end with purple Let's say the oh I forgot to put the lighter area down. <laughs> oh whatever. So we'll make the center This is a pretty good example of how the colors transition. I'm not going to worry about trying to get them in smooth. Because I am thinking I need more practice with markers to get that right. Oh, I want to fix that. Ah! It's not red. Use purple, this purple, and use this one. Yeah, Warren, don't worry about it. I understand what you meant. It's all good. <laughs> um, my sister says, the problem with just the colorless blender is it can become contaminated quite easily. Um, as, long as, you, as long as you hold it straight up, it doesn't. So I've got no color on the colorless blender um, because I'm just making a point to hold it straight up. So I just used some of this purple and now I'm using the, the colorless one. Let's do another petal. <laughs> I actually like this effect. Great. 
right, so now I'm going to put the colorless one back on there. Thank you, Christy. Lucky number 13. <laughs> Angel, I appreciate you saying that. Um, I really do. Because it can be a bit daunting trying something for the first time live. Because it can go completely wrong. But it's good to see that, I think. I wish I watched more, I could find more artists making s huge mistakes. It'd make me feel so much better. <laughs> Not because they're making mistakes, but because it's just totally human. You see so many artists and you feel like, you oh, they never make mistakes. They always just get things right. But that's not true. You just don't see it. Cool. How cool does it? That's such a cool effect. I like it. <laughs> Plus, what's the worst that can happen? I make a mistake and someone gives me flack for making a mistake. I'm only human. But that's the worst that can happen. And I'm quite happy to put up with that, so I don't care. <laughs> So I've still got the red, I haven't put blue, uh, purple in here for a bit, so we'll see how, when it's going to start turning red now. It should start gradually turning red soon. It is recording. <laughs> um, where was I? Here. Cool, I like. That purple is lasting such a long time. Come on, start going red. So this is the smaller nib I'm using and that's why you see such, you can see the lines quite clearly. But I am actually liking the pattern so I'm not too fussed about getting it smooth. If I was fussed about getting it smooth I think I'd be struggling. Only because I don't have all that much experience with markers. Oh, Marie, that's so kind of you. Thank you. Marie, um, Marie says, good night, everybody. If I win the Smarter Box, please redraw. I won a voucher yesterday and would rather someone else has the opportunity. Thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you, Marie. <laughs> good night. And thank you for joining us.
it's not it's not going red. I must have put a crap load of purple on there. Um, okay, so let's use I think I wanna use that green again. Ah, uh, Angel, that's funny. Angel says, I'm crapping up, uh, crapping up, sorry, cracking up because I can feel Sheldine's impatient with mixing the ink, even shaking the pen. That is so me. <laughs> yes, I am. I am be. I am being impatient. <laughs> I really wish I did this with these two petals. Petals. Trial and error. Right, let's see how we go with these ones. <laughs> Artista says, ooh, you're getting your timing down now. Getting some good gradients. See, just practice. Yes, I'm getting the timing for the markers down. Although, I think it's, it's working out, luckily. The timing is only due to my impatience. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. <laughs> Let's go to this one. It's 
See, it's really in our fourth petal now, and it's still kept that color. It's starting to darken up a little now. But it's really done well to keep the color. go with the darker blues on these petals so we're using the blue violets sorry I haven't even mentioned the colors put some of these back I must say I like the flower much more than the first one first thing I did <laughs> but you gotta try yeah, no. So I'll probably hold the blue in for a little bit longer because I'm going to use that on four of the petals. And then what we'll do is around it we'll create some pretty designs with the fine line pens. And that will be the box. And then we can draw the winner. So I think uh, Maureen let me know that we're pretty close to the postage cost being covered. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. It helps me a lot. Because, yeah, that's a downfall about being in Australia. Is most of the time that um, most of my followers are in the US or the UK. So shipping to you guys is pretty expensive. Although even shipping within Australia is pretty expensive. Their costs are just beyond me. But it's the way it is. Okay. Oh, I left that on a bit too long. such a cool effect oh, these two they look okay they look all right Can't go backwards. I prefer to go dark to light. <laughs> Does that make sense? Instead of light to dark. So I have a colorless blender as a marker and then put the colors over the top and then it will gradually go lighter.
Roseanne, I'm glad you are enjoying the bunny. I'd love to talk to you about it more, but this video is about the smart art box. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> oh, Angel, that is so sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Yes, I put the camera back on now. One more. This blue is lasting. So when you change the nibs like this, the blue lasts very, very well. I really like the colors. That's so sweet. <laughs> okay. Cool. I think. That looks so nice. Uh, oh, this goes on the red one. Hey, let's make some pretty patterns all around it with some of these colors. So we use these pens properly. So let's go outwards from with the blue. These are so fine. I think you could do some really, really cool details with these fine liners. If you wanted to do something really tiny. Oh, there's some artists, they do like the, um, the, I, I don't know what you call them. Little, little fine, little like floral designs, mandalas and stuff, but really, really tiny designs with fine liner pens like this and then usually it's like black and white but some of the color ones are pretty epic and then they just do these tiny tiny little designs on something massive and it takes hours and hours but it looks beautiful oh, especially the ones that people use patterns to draw animals I totally need to do that So whoever wins this box, I am way more proud of giving you this flower than I am the first attempt of what we tried. Put it to 
easy match here. darker one. Let's go with the purple. Camera check, all good, thank you very much. Wah! Sorry. Should have removed that earlier. It's better. Jamie's asking, is there a yellow? Yes, there is. I sort of want the edges to turn into orange and yellow. <laughs> Looks funky. So let's go pink, orange, yellow. We'll go these three colors next. You get artists that are so delicate about things like this, they would do each line like this with a ruler. Let's use an orange. Oh. These colors are very, very bright. They're beautiful.
can my check? Thank you very much. Jamie's asking, have I ever tried miniature drawings? No, I haven't. But I wouldn't imagine I'd be very good at them. Chase is asking new eye contacts. No, I'm actually struggling a little. I should be wearing my glasses right now. I am starting to feel my eyes dry out and get a little sore. But I want to get contact lenses so that I don't have to wear my glasses. I do not have contact lenses. But like I have this new light above here which is really great. And then yesterday I noticed that with my glasses, it formed this weird shadow above my eyes. <laughs> the, the collaboration piece I did with Ellen, if you look at that one, the shadow above my eyes looks so weird. It makes my eyes look very sad. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. So I wouldn't have to deal with the stupid reflections of the glasses if I do get contact lenses. So I need to go see the optometrist sometime soon. But lucky you guys can't see my eyes up close because you'd think I'd be smoking something. <laughs> hey Valerie! Long time. Feels like a long time. You didn't get a notification, why not? Why not? Uh, are you subscribed to my mailing list? So if you wanna, I usually send out an email a half an hour or 20 minutes before a live stream starts. Um, so if you want to know about that, then just subscribe to my mailing list on my website and then you'll get a notification. yellow. I feel like I'm going towards this side of the page a lot more. Is it not 7 p.m.? I thought 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time was 7 p.m. That might have been my mistake. Maybe I gave you the wrong time. I did say 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Whoa, that is very, very bright. Light. So I think I wanna actually finish this whole thing off with the yellow. can't see what I'm doing.
difficult color to see. It started 7.30. It was supposed to start at 7. I thought it was starting at 7. Okay, 11 a.m. my time is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I usually start at 10, which is around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I wish I added more orange to the side. Doesn't quite look balanced, but anyway. I'll add my signature that side. <laughs> tempted, I'm very tempted to add some, maybe a bit of purple on top of the purple ones. Let's, let's do it. So the purple, and then I'm going to do the giveaway. Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> you already have the box. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm pretty sure we have postage covered now. So thanks so much. So yeah, after I add some of this purple, then um, we will do the giveaway. Okay. Um, and then... The clear one. Oh, Maureen se meant 7 p.m. Okay, so I did start at the right time. 7 p.m. Oh, we can add someone else to the list. Maureen. Marie. Oh, can we add her? Oh, we did. We added Marie. Oh, no, again. No, no. Warren. Warren Powell. Thank you very much. Whoa, that's a big one. $10. Thank you. So please add Warren to, to the list. Oh, I think I left it too long. We did. the red in this pen now that I think of it. We'll add some of the red over the orange maybe.
Ah, uh, yes, please add Wicked to the list, Maureen. Thank you. Judy, there is an option, another option if you can't get Super Chat to work. Just read the description if you want. not waiting long enough. Hey Ronnie! I haven't seen you on here for ages. So now I am going to use one of these spare sheets. So I want this to go red again. But I don't want it to bleed through. It shouldn't. I probably bombarded it with so much color. Give me red. Oh, thank you, Valerie. How kind of you. Get rid of ready. Okay, let's 
That'll do. Right. So I just want to put some red in these oranges and then we will be done. Actually, what do I want to do while we wait for that? Let's expand this orange. Even though we're going over the yellow, I think it's okay. It's a smidge better. <laughs> I better stop. Okay. Leave it be. Shall we leave it be? Now I probably left that too long. Uh so with the oranges, I don't want to We should go the opposite way, make a dark here. Light at the ends. Valerie says, Shells, I found only changing the color for five seconds helped to get the get back to red. Yeah, I know. I've changed the color about three or four, five, six times over the top of the red. <laughs> so we had to get past the blues and the purples and the greens before we could get back to the red. I was waiting forever <laughs> but not long enough thank you Judy yep Judy's good to go Okay. Uh, 
Okay, cool. That's it. I, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's call it done. Like, what? We started... Oh, we started... At 11. It's been 2 hours and 15 minutes. So that, that's definitely long enough. Oh, you go on there. Let's use a purple pen. So I think this you could sort of turn around. I'm not I'm not sure about the end patterns. You could probably cut it into a square and it would look better. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that. See what it looks like. Cool, that's better. I like that. Sign it. Which way is the best? Still this way. I will sign it down here. There we go. So let me try and put all of these back the way I found them. So whoever gets them, gets them as they were. So whoever wins this box, you will be two sheets, three sheets short in the marker pad. Because <laughs> one was sort of a tester one, the other one was a, a, a play around first attempt that wasn't quite successful. And then this one is the third one. So we've got that. I even kept a little sticker to stick this back on. And then we've got these guys. Which was, it was very interesting to use them. How do you go back in here? Why do you feel like you're so snug? Oh, right, other way. They like, they like snap in here. Cool. And then I tried not to rip this. Ah. There we go. So we can put it back on like it was. back in here this this one was cracked when I got it or or I cracked it to that realizing that I did sorry about that so. there we 
go. Stick that closed. So that's what we have. All these guys come in the February Smart Art Box. Okay. Um. Maureen says, Sheldine, 1 to 18. Thank you very much. Valerie says, when is a pan pasta live? Well, it was supposed to be this week, but I didn't receive them yet. So I hopefully I receive them next week and then we can do that. That one, a lot of people want to see because I'm going to be doing a proper portrait with it. Um, and a bird and everything so that one's gonna be really fun when I get it but I know that um, the contact that I had went on holiday for a couple of days um, but she's been back for a bit now so hopefully soon hopefully soon Wicked says, I, I guess she'll get, collect postage in light speed for that one <laughs> I hope so because the box can be pretty big um, and the applicator, I will also include all the applicator sponges and stuff in that one as well. So, I imagine postage would be around $50 for that one. But I, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Valerie agrees the market package was a bit harder to open. <laughs> I know. Um, okie dokie, so that is it. So I'm going to be drawing the names now so i'm going to randomize the number so there were 18 of you that entered thank you very much um the postage was definitely covered so i appreciate that um, so and then those that did direct donations we've got you on there too so judy wicked um marie those are you guys Yep, so three, three day, oh, and Warren as well. Sort it. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Radio, so here we go. So, hey, Ismay. <laughs> okay, so we're about to pick. So the highest number was. 18 so 18 okay uh, I'm gonna pause for one moment I'll be right back I'll be right back you won't hear any sound but I'll be right back one minute Cool, off we go. So maximum number was 18. Um, so you can see, can you see that? I can't even see that. It looks completely blank. 
sort of there. 1 to 18. Save. Okay. And do we pick a number? Number 6. Congratulations. Who was number 6? Let me scroll, see if I can find it. Oh, I can't scroll any higher. Why wouldn't let me scroll any higher? So I can scroll up to number seven. Who's number six, <laughs> Maureen? I'll wait for Maureen to get back to me. Luella! Congratulations, Luella! That's great! <laughs> cool. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Esme. <laughs> yep. I just decided this morning to do it. <laughs> okay, congratulations, Luella. So I am going to pack that in the box. Just as good as I received it. I'll even show you. We still have a lot of sheets left in there. will be going to Luella. Well done. <laughs> well done, Luella. You guys, when you guys are watching live streams like this and it goes for longer than an hour, then it's good to refresh your browser like every 15, 20 minutes, um, which will reduce the lag time. The longer you leave it, the longer the lag. It's weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, good night, Judy. Thank you for participating. It was so nice to have you guys on here. Um, I had fun. You guys got to see me uh, make a few mistakes because I haven't tried. I, I don't have much experience with markers at all, um, let alone with the chameleon ones because they have a bit of a different uh, blending technique or gradient technique. Uh, but it was pretty cool. I like the concept of what they did. And I'm sure if I practice more, I'd get the hang of it a bit better. And I think I'd, I'd prefer to probably use it on something like Yupo paper. Uh, it should, because it's plastic paper, it should give you an even smoother gradient than this one. Because this, even though it's very smooth, it still feels like paper. Very absorbent. And I don't, I don't think I want a surface that's quite absorbent. But I don't know, like I said, I haven't really tried marker pens before. But I did have fun with this smart art box and I'm glad you guys could join me today. And tomorrow I'll be live to finish off the Colored Pencil Magazine um, February Challenge. Because... That one just got left hanging for a while. And then next week, hopefully I will receive the pan pastel portrait set soon. And then I will be able to demonstrate a portrait drawing using the pan pastels and pencils. And I am thinking I'm going to do that one fairly big. Because the bigger the better with pan pastels. You get big coverage, wide coverage pretty easily. So I'll be demonstrating that one. And that one I'm pretty sure is going to be a long one as well. 
maybe even two or three parts to it because I want to show you step by step how to do a portrait from start to finish using that and then um, I will also um, pick a winner to win that whole set of pan pastels and you'll win the drawing <laughs> if it turns out really good it's gonna be hard but I'll scan it but I'll send you the original drawing along with that as well so that will come up hopefully next week if I get the pan pastel set next week um, but if you guys keep up to date just with my newsletter I'll let you know half an hour before every video stream um, and any major events coming up okay so thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys next time bye